Oh, part, um, that's my cats running into the door. Um, part three, similarities between um, Moses' life and Jesus' life. Moses predicted thousands of years ago that a prophet would be raised up like him from among the brethren and um, that God commanded that they, everyone must listen to this prophet, whoever he is. Um, I believe very easily it can be proven that it is Jesus who the Moses was prophesying about, um, not Muhammad of the Islam Muslim uh, faith, that they they say it is him who is prophesied. It's not. No, nowhere near the similarities in ministries or types that Jesus and Moses portray. Uh, clearly the Bible is inspired by God and the, the actual uh, similarities are so strikingly amazing that it can only be a God who li who's in living in eternity who can see the beginning and the end could write a book like the Bible because they are so strikingly perfect. perfect. They're so amazing. It blows my mind the more I look at the similarities and the more I look at the details of the similarities. It's just mind-blowing mind-blowingly awesome um you truly have to be blind not to see it or believe it truly uh and that means it's probably spiritual blindness because a natural natural blindness you should be able to see it eh? um anyway let's more similarities i got up to uh the last one i was talking about was the bronze um this bronze serpent on a pole and Jesus saying to Nicodemus, um, "This is actually going to happen. This is actually going to happen to me. I'm going to be set up on a pole as well, and everyone who looks at me will be healed, just like in Moses' time when they looked at the bronze uh, statue, uh, the bronze um, serpent." Okay, uh, another sign: um, the leprous sign given to Moses to prove he was sent from God uh, is worth investigating a little bit deeper. Um, God gave uh, Moses a sign uh, to prove he was sent from God. Uh, it was the leprous sign, okay? Um, and that has some interesting stuff in it. Uh, is Okay, uh, Exodus 4 verse 5. So that they may believe that Jehovah, the God of your fa their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has appeared to you, um, Exodus 4 verse 6, and Jehovah said to him again, Now put your hand in your bosom. And he put his hand in his bosom, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was as leprous as snow. Now that is an amazing uh, sign that God said, um, I'm, I'm going to use this to prove that I, that I, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob have appeared to you. Okay, uh, So his hand turned to leprous, um, Ezekiel, um, uh, sorry, ne the next verse, verse 7, and he said, put your hand into your bosom again, and he put his hand into his bosom again, and he brought it out of his bosom, and behold, it was turned again like the other flesh. So it turned back from being leprous back into normal. Now that was the sign. Um, now I know the Muslims believe that Muhammad had uh, a similar sign, so that's why they think he... Um, He's the prophet, but um, just read the other similarities and you'll realize clearly Jesus is the actual one he's talking about. It clearly matches amazingly perfect. Okay, um, verse 8, and it will be, if they do not believe you, neither listen to the voice of the first sign, then they sh will believe the voice of the latest sign. Okay, so there are two signs. Uh, they um, God gave it to them so they basically would believe. Okay, the leprous sign was given to Moses. Actually, uh, to Moses actually becomes one of the signs that point to Jesus being the Christ and the prophet of Israel. Okay, that that sign itself is actually a good prophetic pointer to Jesus, um, which is nice, I guess. <laughs> we didn't have to change the um, Muslims. We didn't, Christians didn't have to change the Bible. It lines up. Okay, we don't have to try and change the Bible. The details are amazingly intricate. Here's um, some of it. Jesus heals a man of leprosy, something that had never been done before. Okay, 
But strangely, Moses had given instructions in the law for this very event. Okay? No one had ever been cured of leprosy, except, but Moses did give instructions of what to do if that actually had ever happened. Strange. Now, Moses was predicting that this would occur in the future, you see. Um, if it should ever occur. It seems Moses, being a prophet, foresaw Jesus coming and healing lepers. So made instruction for the people who would be healed of leprosy to give testimony to the priests. Okay, Jesus says this to the man he healed of leprosy, saying, Go and offer the offering that Moses requires as a testimony to them. He was trying to open their eyes to, un to understand the prophecy. Just as Moses healed leprosy, so did Jesus. That's the similarity. Okay, Just as it was a sign that Moses was being sent from God, so too it meant Jesus was sent from God. Hopefully, hopefully you got that. Anyway, conclusion. There is nobody who qualifies more highly to fulfill the prophecy made by Moses than Jesus or Yeshua. He is he not only has similar characteristics but did the same things, uh, had very similar events happen in his life, same type of events. The biggest difference is that Jesus was not just a prophet like Moses. Moses was a shadow of Christ. A prophetic example of the Messiah who was to come. What Moses did in the natural by taking Israel out of Egypt, Jesus has done in the natural and spiritual realms by taking us out of the kingdom of darkness ruled by Satan. Prophetically, Egypt represents bondage to sin. The Red Sea crossing is symbolic of baptism and crossing over into the kingdom of God, which is being born again from heaven. Moses delivered the people out of Egypt, but was not the Redeemer as, as well like Jesus. Um, Jesus led the, leads the people out, and he is the Redeemer at the same time. Okay, He's both. Moses set up a tabernacle so that people could have fellowship with God, but only the high priest ever got to visit God in his presence. Jesus made people to be living tabernacles so that we could all visit the presence of God. Uh, Moses was a prophet. Jesus was, Jesus was more than just a prophet. He was the son of the living God, or God the Son, not a man born from men, but deity birthed on earth by the Holy Spirit, eternal in nature. Moses set up sin offerings so that people could be forgiven of, with, of sins with animal sacrifices. Jesus himself became the sin offering for all mankind. The evidence speaks for itself. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. Um, Jesus grew up in Egypt, and he was taken to Egypt by his parents to escape Herod when he was a baby. And there's just so um, I'm there's just so many um, parallels. You can um, you can go uh, you can go through them, um, read them yourself, and you'll you'll find. Uh, the numerous parallels, but clearly, um, in the New Testament, um, in he Hebrews, you can read about how the Hebrew writer makes inferences that about the difference between, between Moses and uh, Jesus as well. He does a really good job of it, um, but he says, "But Moses um, wasn't the same as Jesus because Jesus just because Jesus is actually." Um, isn't <laughs> he's the builder of he's the builder and not just the he's not just the created but he's the builder who builds the creation whereas Moses is the creation Jesus is the builder 
who built the creation and that's where uh, that's where that's the similarity um that's where mo um where the writer of hebrews is trying to explain that uh, jesus is not just a man like moses was but he was actually the creator whereas moses was just a man um so yeah very similar amazing experiences uh, hopefully helping you to understand moses was pointing to jesus the messiah the, who uh, happens to be um, the savior and creator as well 